for me, a, a crisis is not a crisis. A crisis is actually a relief. <laughs> a crisis is, means that there will be change because human beings never change until there is a crisis. Dear Peter, do you have a spiritual practice to cope with fear? The creation of any work of art is an act of spiritual practice. Uh, it's not a lonely path, it's a path with people. And of course, what we're always doing as artists is creating what's not here yet, which is about prophecy, which is about seeing what needs to be here and then inviting it to appear or <laughs> helping it to appear. <laughs> and so in that sense, it is a life practice. I think, of course, you always have to begin with what people in the room are afraid of. And fear is everywhere. <laughs> There's never a moment you don't have fear. Uh, you, you can't treat it as an enemy. You just have to treat it as something that you are genuinely dealing with. You know, uh, before I have to do a rehearsal or, or, or a class, I'm, of course, a wreck. <laughs> and then you start. <laughs> And the important thing is to start. And, and the more you're really working with your fear, the more you can help someone else work through their fear. And of course, that's what we do as artists, is find a way to actually engage with something that many people turn away from or can't deal with. Young as we are, we expect fear every year. More of us fall beneath the shadow of the next blow. What the performing arts are about is the sense that you are right inside the crisis, not at a distance. And the only way we will ever find a solution is if the problem itself is the solution. The solution has to come from, from the people who are killing each other, not from anyone else. And, and, and it can't be imposed by, you know, an occupying army. It can't be imposed by a decision, you know, an agreement made in Oslo. Being present and being inside the situation and being in solidarity with people who are in the heart of the crisis is really essential. And I do believe this is why theater was invented. For me, it's too late in the history of the world to do things that don't need to be done. You know, if we're going to be together and work together, let's choose something that needs to be done and let's work on it together. And, uh, you know, <laughs> somebody was saying the other day, oh, you know, we're, we're at this apocalyptic place, we're at the end of the world. And I said, excuse me, nothing that easy will be allowed. <laughs> the world will not end, it will continue. <laughs> and that's the point. <laughs>